Girl, this is why we cannot have nice things. This is why we cannot have nice things. Hello, you guys. My name is Sebastian. Girl, am I recording? Am I? Yes, I am. Hello, you guys. Mess. Um, I hope you guys are having a really good day. If you are new, my name is Sebastian. I spill pop culture tea every day. And if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. So let's and get comfortable because this 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 video is gonna be a bumpy ride, bitch. It's gonna be a bumpy ass ride, okay? Grab a snack and a drink, put on those seat belts, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm a little bit annoyed. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you know, some people say that when I'm annoyed, it just seems like I'm having like I'm like they I I they think it's funny because I'm like I'm quirky. I guess but I'm a little bit pissed off bitch okay um so yesterday you know I don't know if you guys just saw the video I posted that Selena Gomez is back on social media after a month and like two or three weeks and what's so funny is yesterday I posted a video about her social media break saying that you know she's probably gonna stay on the social media break because of her mental health 10 minutes later she posts on her Instagram so I was like oh my god girl twins we're literally Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen um but this is why we cannot have nice things, you guys. So she posts, she's living her best life in Paris. She's booked, blessed, and busy, eating good food, you know, hanging out with friends, filming her her movie, you know, rare beauty, da, 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 right? So, you know, I love it. I love the post. I think she looks amazing. I think she looks fresh. She looks young. She looks happy. She looks, you know, da, 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 right? The comments. The comments on this fucking post, okay? The comments on this one. This is why Selena Gomez hates fucking social media because of these fucking trolls. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm, oh girl, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you. But you know what? Let me put on a little bit of lip gloss because every time I put lip gloss, I feel more like a badass. Yeah, I feel like a badass in my baby blue sweater that I stole from my husband. Um, you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you guys right now. I'm gonna start this like, you know how they have like the Avengers? I'm gonna start like an Avengers, but for like Selena Gomez. Because the comments on her fucking posts are so gross, you guys. And I just have to say like, the three Hailey Bieber fans who are doing this, Shirley, Myrtle, and Rob, like you guys literally have nothing else to do with your life. Like I fucking come to that conclusion. I'm gonna read you guys some comments because Back a little bit ago, I I made a video about Selena Gomez receiving so much hate, and I saw a couple of comments saying like, um, I can't find any of those comments. I think you're exaggerating. I'm sure there were Hailey Bieber fans. I'm gonna read you guys some of the comments. FYI, trigger warning. I mean, they talk about everything, okay? So let's start. Hashtag free the Biebers. Another one says, why are you stealing Haley's style to dress? Oh, I know. It's because you and your team have a picture of Haley on the wall for inspiration, right? Jealousy, girl. Jealousy, bitch. When will you stop manipulating your fans to bully other innocent people? Another one says, for God's sakes, leave the believers alone. Oh, leave the Biebers alone. Don't comment on anything. Don't say, I close this chapter every time. Don't mention your teenage relationship. Find your own man and leave a married couple alone. Damn, Selena. My friend Baba Boss says you took pictures with everyone except her. Why? I hope your lupus and the new kidney are doing well. I bet the vaping and ALC are hard on your body. All love. I don't know what ALC is, um, but I don't get it. And I've never seen her vape, so that's another thing. Snake, 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 snake. Another one says, are you done with the kidney-seeking job? Another one says, I don't know why, but you seem miserable. Manipulative icon. Um, victim complex girl on the way. Friends, I don't see Francia. Wait, she's not white or famous. Please leave. We don't want you. Um, Selena Gomez, you need to get help. Uh, Selena is, is trying so hard to be Latina again. Um, girl said it. Girl said it herself. She has no friends. Ha, ha, ha. And it goes on, and it goes on, and it goes on. Fat shaming comments, comments about her kidneys, comments about her being obsessed with, with Hailey Bieber, comments about her being still in love with Justin Bieber, comments about everything you can imagine. All, I mean, listen, you open the chapter and everything that you can imagine, she's being, she's being hated on. I'm gonna tell you guys something. Those were some of the comments that I was like, I felt, you know, like they weren't, 
some comments are so disgusting. These comments are like the nicest comments I can find. If, if you can even believe how worse they get. These were the nicest ones. I just have to say one thing and, 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 you know, it's Selena Gomez takes, you know, social media breaks for a reason. And this is one of the reasons. What I don't understand is the following. I don't understand how someone can sit here, right? And just write these comments and, you know, defend uh, Hailey Bieber and Justin when Hailey has been the one who has always been so, you know, there's always just been this weird, not great vibes coming from Haley towards Selena. And, you know, what I also don't, don't understand is, you know, I chose not to read the fat shaming comments because I just, honestly, I I don't even want to read those myself. Um, but I can't imagine Selena Gomez, like, going through life, having to see these comments and being, being hated on for needing a kidney, for gaining weight or losing weight, for, for you know, having this ex-couple. Um, I just find it so bizarre. I find it so sad. And I find it so, so worrying because some people, this is the life that they are living. And I want to say that, you know, Selena Gomez having to go through, oh, it's 11-11, make a wish. I'm in. Um, you know, I just, I find it very, 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 very sad that this is a life that, that, you know, that she's living. I see a lot of these comments like that she's manipulating her fans as she's doing this victim comic. That's one of the main comments that I'm always seeing is that she's manipulating us into thinking she's the innocent one. I mean, I don't, I don't think she's manipulating anyone. I really just think that we see we see it and we call it like we see it, right? We are not inventing things in our heads. We are seeing things happen and unfold before us. Therefore, we come up with our own conclusions. Therefore, we know who to stand. Therefore, we always choose to take the high road and not the low road, okay? I don't even like passion fruit, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. I do love passion fruit a lot. Um, but, you know, it just, it, it just it, it annoys me so much because, you know, I mean, listen, listen, I'll tell you something. If Selena Gomez reads these comments, I have no idea what's going to happen. Like, and, I, and I, I'm being very honest, like, I'm, I, I, you know, she has said she doesn't have Instagram on her phone, which is, thank God, because imagine, like, you living your best life and seeing these comments, like, you know, victim, complex, give front to her kidney back, body shaming, fat shaming, you know, a mental health shaming, like, all of these things. I, I mean, I applaud her for going through this. Um, but you have to really understand something, you guys, that, you know, I feel that in the times that we're living in, um, and that's, you know, that's one of the things that I, that I, that I will say is a lot of people come for me for, uh, not being so harsh on Haley. I don't, I'm, I, I call her out and I talk about her, but I would never, I try my hardest to never disrespect anyone. It doesn't matter who they are because we are all human beings. That's why I will never, you know, body shame. I will never, you know, mental health shame. I will never wish ill will. And I get some hate from Selena fans saying, you know, you're too nice about Haley. You're too nice to Haley. It's not about me being nice. It's about A, me respecting another human being, calling out actions, okay? And, and, and giving my opinion without being rude, without being nasty. You can actually do it. You can actually talk to somebody or about someone, give your opinion, call out, and do it the most respectful way possible. Bitch, don't get it twisted. I'm not a nun, honey. I'm not Mother Teresa, and I will throw shade, okay? And, but, you know, I will never wish ill will. And and that goes the same for, you know, some Selena fans wishing ill will towards Haley. I would never do that. Um, and I just find it very, very sad that, like, you know, everyone is fucking up their own karma just to defend or or to hate on people that, you know, Haley doesn't even care about you. Like, I mean, I'm sorry that's the truth. Haley and Justin, they don't even know you're alive. So you're over here wishing ill will on somebody and getting collecting bad karma. And then when in reality, like, you know, you're the ones who are going to not be great at the end. So, I mean, what is the point of that, right? I just, I don't get it. I think Shirley Myrtle and, and Rob need a hug. And I will, I will gracefully give you guys a hug. 
Um, I think that the comments that Selena Gomez gets are atrocious. And I think that she deserves a lot better. But that's just my opinion. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I hope she doesn't read these comments. I hope that her assistants are deleting them or blocking these people. And by the way, before I let you go, I clicked on a lot of these people's names. They're all, they all have like zero posts. They all have like one, two people they're following. Like they're, it's giving very much fake accounts. So girl, you know, they don't even, I mean, listen, if you want to be an asshole, be a fucking, you know, brave asshole with your fucking actual profile picture, bitch. Okay. All right. And I say it as a term and endearment, bitch. Okay. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do not forget to hit that follow button. Subscribe. I love you all so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.